In today's video, we'll cover the top 15 hikes and other things to do in Sedona, Arizona. Sedona, Arizona is a red rock wonderland known for its stunning natural beauty that often ranks among the most scenic places in the United States. It's an artsy and outdoorsy tourist destination that's gorgeous any time of year. The summer heat can be unforgiving, but the spring and fall see more moderate and pleasant weather. Sedona is even popular in the winter as the white snow accents the red rock formations making the famous Snowdona landscape. So whether you're a nature enthusiast, spiritual seeker, retiree, or adrenaline junkie, you're sure to find something you'll love in this amazing city. And before we begin, let's start with a quick disclaimer. Sedona has abundant outdoor recreational opportunities, but you have to be smart. There's cactuses, snakes, scorpions, and other creepy crawlies around, so watch where you step. And this is Arizona, people, so depending on the time of year, it could be anywhere from freezing to over 120 degrees Fahrenheit, aka nearly 50 degrees Celsius for you non-Americans. Check the weather and plan accordingly. And remember, water and sunscreen are your friends. With that out of the way, let's get going on the best things to do in Sedona, Arizona. We'll get to the hikes in a moment, but let's kick things off with number one. Take a Jeep tour. Spend any time in Sedona and you'll see tourist filled Jeeps cruising around. It's one of the best ways to see the unique red sandstone formations up close and get a dose of Sedona history while you're at it. Jeep tours are a convenient way to get out into the heart of Red Rock Country without having to hike for miles under the hot desert sun. We did the Broken Arrow route with Pink Adventure Tours and had a blast. But there are several routes and Jeep tour companies to choose from that range from short loops to all day adventures. Number two, go hiking. If you're watching this video, chances are you love the outdoors and know Sedona is one of America's best places to get outside and experience nature. With literally hundreds of miles of trails to choose from, there's a hike for everyone in Sedona. Be warned, some of these trailheads require a relatively inexpensive red rock pass and some can only be accessed via shuttle during high season. Let's dig deeper into some of the best hiking trails and landmarks in and around Sedona. Cathedral Rock is one of the most popular hikes in Sedona and for good reason. There are several hikes to and around Cathedral Rock. You can loop around the rock formation or choose to ascend to the top. Cathedral Rock Trail is a moderately challenging 1.2 mile round trip hike that leads to panoramic views of Sedona's Red Rock Wonderland. Some steeper sections require mild scrambling, but for the most part this is a relatively short hike by Sedona standards. Cathedral Rock is also one of Sedona's best places to watch sunset, although to be fair, almost anywhere in Sedona looks amazing during the golden hours around sunrise and sunset. Devil's Bridge, you've likely seen it on social media. If you have a high clearance four wheel drive vehicle, you can drive right up Dry Creek Road to the entrance of the 1.8 mile Devil's Bridge Trail. Or if you're up for a moderate challenge, try the Chuck Wagon Trail to Devil's Bridge. This popular nearly six mile round trip hike leads to the iconic sandstone arch spanning a narrow canyon. The hike has a decent amount of shade along the way and you'll be surrounded by Sedona's stunning red rock formations. And I promise not to keep blabbering about how stunning or gorgeous the red rocks are, but fill in the blank with your preferred superlative because it's really seriously beautiful. Anyway, Devil's Bridge is a super popular spot, so prepare to wait in line to take a photo on the bridge unless you get there really early. Other folks waiting in line are usually kind enough to take the photo for you, but we've also seen people use tripods to take their own photos. Soldiers Pass Trailhead is a great launching point for several hikes, including Seven Sacred Pools, Soldiers Pass Cave, and Coffee Pot Rock. Soldiers Pass Cave is a large and awesome two-story cave that offers a cool spot to escape the Arizona sun. On the way, you'll pass the Devil Sinkhole and the Seven Sacred Pools. Soldiers Pass Trailhead can also get you to Coffee Pot Rock, via Teacup Trail, which is an easy 1.2 mile loop around the charming formation known as Coffee Pot Rock. Subway Cave via Boynton Canyon Trail was one of our personal favorite hikes. The moderate 4.5 mile out and back trail leads to the Subway Cave, a natural arch accessible through a narrow passage. To reach the elevated cave, you'll have to climb through a steep narrow passage or shimmy along a narrow cliff. The effort is worth it though because the view is amazing and you'll get some great photos there. Climb to the top of Wilson Mountain, the tallest point in Sedona via the Wilson Mountain Trail. The hike is considered challenging as it's over 11 miles out and back and will take several hours to complete. 
you'll gain nearly 3,000 feet in elevation to reach the 7,100 foot summit. The view from the top is obviously breathtaking, but there's also amazing views along the way, including from the Sedona Overlook. Hike Bell Rock Path This moderate one and a half mile loop circles Bell Rock, a vortex site and one of Sedona's most recognizable landmarks. The trail offers close-up views of the rock's unique rock formations and opportunities for reflection or even picnicking. Fay Canyon Trail is an easy two-mile round-trip hike that's nice for families or those seeking a leisurely stroll. The trail winds through a scenic canyon with diverse plant life, a hidden arch, and awe-inspiring petroglyphs. Chimney Rock Trail is a moderate three-mile out and back to Chimney Rock Summit that culminates in panoramic views. Be warned that there are some challenging scrambles, but I know some of you folks are into that sort of thing. Secret Trail and Paradise Canyon is a moderate three and a half mile loop, which besides the beautiful canyon also has waterfalls and hidden natural pools. Birthing Cave is accessible through a moderate two mile round trip hike on the Long Canyon Trail. It's a sacred place for the Hopi people and is believed to be a site of one of Sedona's famous vortexes, which exude healing and spiritual energy. Birthing Cave is also a famous social media photo hotspot, so it's very likely to be busy unless you go in the off season. There's tons of other trails in and around Sedona, including other trails to the landmarks I just mentioned. So consider this a jumping off point to dig deeper depending on what exactly you're looking for. There are ADA accessible trails, there are short easy paved trails, and there are monster 10 plus mile hikes through rough terrain and everything in between. Next up, enjoy the water at Slide Rock State Park. This park is a great spot for swimming, sunbathing, and tubing. Carved by a flowing stream, the natural water slide is a fun way to cool off under the scorching Arizona sun. But be prepared for crowds if you go during peak tourist times. Another place to cool off is at Crescent Moon Park further down the Oak Creek. It's a family-friendly park with walking paths, grassy areas, playgrounds, and a seasonal splash pad. There's a cool historic mill and it's a great place for picnics or just relaxing. Next, eat and go shopping at Talake Paki and Uptown Sedona. This arts and crafts village has some great history and is a fun place to find unique souvenirs and gifts. There's also a variety of restaurants and cafes here. Discover art galleries showcasing local talent, browse through unique shops for souvenirs, and indulge in delectable cuisine at diverse restaurants. Keep in mind though that with Sedona's explosive growth and popularity has come an equal surge in traffic. So prepare to spend some time at a standstill if you drive anywhere near Talake Paki or the New Age shops uptown. But at least the scenery will be nice. Explore Montezuma Castle National Monument, about 45 minutes north of Sedona. It's one of the best preserved cliff dwellings in North America. Montezuma Castle National Monument is a 5-story, 20-room structure built into a towering limestone cliff by the Sanagua people, a pre-Columbian culture between 1100 and 1425 AD. It's a bit of a misnomer because Europeans falsely attributed the structure to the Aztec ruler Montezuma II, when in reality it was the Sanaguan architects and engineers who crafted the castle high up in the cliff face, a true testament to their ingenuity. While you can no longer go inside the structure due to preservation concerns, it's still a wonderful place to learn about history through exhibits and ranger talks. Visit Chapel of the Holy Cross, a Roman Catholic chapel built in the 1950s. The beautiful and minimalist chapel was meant to blend into and complement the surrounding landscape. It's one of the more famous human-made landmarks in Sedona. It's a hot spot for tourists and a sacred place for many visitors. Take a hot air balloon ride. See the grandeur of Sedona from a whole new perspective with a hot air balloon ride. It's not for everybody and definitely not recommended if you're afraid of heights, but on a calm morning it's an unforgettable experience and offers a unique view of Sedona's majestic landscape. Go stargazing. Sedona has some of the darkest skies in the country, making it a perfect place to go stargazing. In fact, it's a member of the international dark sky community. Some neighborhoods even forbid streetlights to ensure everybody can see the wonders of the sky above. Check out visitsedona.com for their secret seven, aka seven lesser known locations where you can enjoy stargazing. You can bring a telescope or just lie back and enjoy the view with your own eyes. Visit Palatki Heritage Site. Hike to this ancient cliff dwelling complex in Cococino National Forest to learn about the Sanagua people who inhabited this area centuries ago. There are three trails, including one that's wheelchair accessible. 
Reservations are required and be aware that the site closes if temperatures get too hot. Go wine tasting. You know about the Red Rocks, but did you know Sedona also has a historic wine culture? In the late 1600s, Franciscan missionaries discovered the rich volcanic soil, abundant sunshine, and cool nights created an ideal environment for certain wine varietals. Today, the Verde Valley Wine Trail is home to several wineries that offer tastings and tours. It's a great way to relax and sample some of the local wines. Go for an adrenaline boosting adventure by mountain biking, rock climbing, or horseback riding. You know about the hikes, but Sedona also has great trails for mountain biking, including the High Line, Mezcal, Llama, and Hangover Trail. For horseback riding, try Bell Rock Pathway, Little Horse Trail, Templeton Trail, and Marg's Draw Trail. For rock climbing, try Gordon's Ridge via Boynton Canyon Trail or Mars Attacks. But if hikes and all that adrenaline isn't your thing, Sedona also has plenty of golf courses and spas to help you relax. Visit Red Rock State Park, a 286-acre nature preserve and environmental education center famous for its breathtaking scenery. There are several hiking trails and abundant opportunities to see wildlife, including mule deer, javelina, coyotes, bobcats, and even river otters if you're lucky. You have to eat while you're in Sedona, so try some authentic southwestern food. Try Elote Cafe. This vibrant cafe in Talakipaki serves authentic southwestern fare with fresh local ingredients and lively atmosphere. Their signature elote, which is fire-roasted corn and smoked brisket enchiladas, are a local favorite. Or Mariposa Latin-inspired grill. Savor Latin-inspired cuisine with a southwestern twist while perched atop a scenic bluff with panoramic red rock vistas. This fine dining establishment provides a luxurious ambiance and mouth-watering dishes. And by the way, if you just finished a hike and you're in your stinky hiking clothes, they won't let you in. The Secret Garden at Oak Creek. Immerse yourself in a serene garden setting while indulging in creative, upscale dishes and an exceptional service. This romantic spa offers breathtaking views and an unforgettable dining experience. Last but not least, take in the view from Airport Mesa or Airport Scenic Lookout. But beware of the crowds. The Airport Mesa and Scenic Overlook are two popular spots to look out on Sedona, especially during sunset. But beware, their ease of access means they're absolutely packed for sunset especially during peak tourist season. That said, jostling for position to get a shaky video of the Sedona sunset is almost a rite of passage for tourists. So what did I miss? What's your favorite hike or thing to do in Sedona? Let us know in the comments and let us know what city you want to hear about next. And of course, we'd love a like and subscribe. It means more than you know. Love you all and have a great day.